So confirmation coming from the president himself in his year press conference that Senator Max Baucus will be the new U.S. ambassador here in Beijing. He will replace Gary Locke, who's going to step down early next year. A short while ago, our colleague Anand Naidu in our CCTV America studio spoke to the vice president for studies at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace on what issues Ambassador Baucus may face when he arrives here in Beijing. Uh, looking at this period, you know, in the relationship between the United States and China, I want to read you something from a Global Times commentary talking about the role of ambassadors in China. It said their individual influence on this bilateral tie is limited, but a breakthrough on mutual trust is what is absent from Sino-U.S. relations. It needs to be included with the next ambassador's agenda. You agree? Well, I agree that pr every ambassador should try to establish a relationship of trust. Uh, the between the U.S. and China, the misperceptions, the cultural differences are such that mistrust is going to be with us a long time. If the ambassador can narrow those gaps a little bit in his time there, that'll be a plus. But that's not the measure of his performance. The measure of his performance will be how he advances American interests and values uh, in, the, in respect to the various things the Chinese and the Americans do with each other or sometimes against each other. Uh, there have been recent tensions between the United States and China, as we know. Will it be Max Borges's if his primary aims initially when he gets there is to tamp down those tensions? Well, naturally, it'll be to tamp down the tensions. Now, he does not come with an extremely uh, detailed background in national security strategy and diplomacy. But he does have the record of having worked very hard, even when his party was set in the other direction, to maintain the U.S.-China trade relationship through thick and thin, especially in the early 1990s. And he was quite creative in doing that. He had good people helping him on his staff. He's famous for having good staffs. Uh, so I think he's got, uh, he, he's a pretty important person being chosen for this job.